today I bring the Logitech Webcam 925. We're going to take a look at it and see how well it works in the low light, high light. I got actually lights all over here, so it's going to be a little difficult to explain. But we're going to try the green screen too also. We're going to try it without any lights to see how well it works. And we're also going to try the mic to see how it also if it, could, if it gets a good mic for any kind of web conversing. Now that we're all, a lot of us are working from home, doing Zoom calls, team calls, this is probably the best thing for you. So we're going to take a look at it first and see what you guys think about it. And you judge it, see if it works for you, if the audio is enough, if the video is enough. So we're going to see and take a look at it. So let's go ahead and start. First of all, they have instructions. Very simple in the box. It's just simple. Just get it out. It's uh, nothing fancy. It's a plug and play. You could download their application too. They do have some updates application. They go upgrade the firmware too. Also, you can do that from there. Um, the good thing about this camera is that it has this little lens block. If you guys can see it, and it's it's right now. If you guys can see, I'm gonna put it a little closer to this camera. That's an awesome feature. I I I think all cameras should come with something like this. Uh, a lot of the Logitech cameras don't have that. They actually have a cap that you have to purchase or you have to put it in there. And if you lose it, it's pretty much lost. Now, I like this feature a lot because I know that I'm not going to um, display. I'm not going to misplace this cap. It's built in here. Now, if you can see, there's a lot of mics here and a lot of speakers. So it's not speakers for mic inputs pretty much. So hopefully it's going to take some good uh, mic. And then, of course, if you guys can see it, this has the grip, the rubber grip. Uh, it, it, this is a natural thing that the Logitech does to other cameras. They put rubber ends here so it won't damage any of your um, uh, monitors or anywhere you're going to cl uh, clip this on a TV or something like that. And, of course, this is bendable, if you guys can see. This is also bendable, too. So it could adjust to different different uh, grips that you need, you know. So on top of that, if you want to do a, a web conferencing, you can actually even put it on a tripod. If you want to, and it has a, a threader in, so you can actually just, you know, screw it in there and simple as that. Or, like I said, optional. You can always put it behind a camera, a TV, or a monitor. You know, very simple. Um, I like this. That's a plus all the time. I like it that you don't need to remove this because a lot of the older Logitechs, this was removable. I didn't like that. And then and this was uh, right underneath the camera. So, I like this. That's all built into one. We're going to take a look at it and see how well it works. So, let's go ahead and test it out. All right, so we're going to test the audio from the actual camera. This is the actual audio from the camera. Right now we have a fan over here and we're going to do noise cancellation tests. And the way I do it is I, I play an audio on my phone of a crowd audio and then I just kind of put it around me, see how well it works and if it, it's even worth like the um, canceling out certain audio. Right now we currently have a fan. You might be able to hear it. So right now we're going to do a uh, light test first. I'm going to turn off the light and this is without any kind of lights. Right now I do have one overhead. I'm going to point it out to you guys. That's the overhead light that I have. That's the only light I have in here. And it's an actual propel fan. So we're going to turn it off. And not the fan. We're going to turn off the fan and the light. So this is at a minimum light uh, as much as I can. And then if I turn on the light that's pretty much what it is. so darkness this is pretty much dark i'm using only the light that's coming out of the laptop which is really dark and it's it's pretty heavily um um uh, some of the stuff you can't even see that well you can see my teeth that's about it but this is a poor light of course visibility so we're going to turn on the light again and we're going to turn on the fan because it's a little cold a little hot in here so also let's continue on and we're going to do a green test a green screen test and also see how good quality it is if you can see some of the letters from far away also if you can see some of the colors so we're going to go ahead and do that all right so we're going to do a test on actual color and i'm going to step a little back a little bit back so you guys can see it and this is pretty uh, an iPad showing multiple colors. It's pretty much a chromo test for coloring. And see if you can see the blue in the corner on this side, actually the dark navy blue and then the red on the corner. So this is pretty much how you're going to see qualify of the colors. Now, if you guys ever go to doctors and you get a doctor's test, um, I'm going to show you something if it's legible to see some far away. So I'll put some items in here along with my face. And uh, if you can see, if you could see as legible some of the letters, uh, this is pretty much what you're going to see from this camera itself. So the camera's not that bad. You could actually see pretty good in really good. Uh, actually, some of the ladders in the bottoms are legible too. So not bad. Uh, we're going to continue with some testing. We're going to do a green screen test. So if you're going to be streaming on this camera, you can probably use it as a green screen. And you could also maybe block out some of the stuff in the behind. And let's go ahead and do that. 
So I just want to show you guys the actual green screen before and I do have a light overhead me and I have another one that I'm going to actually move away from so it'll give it a better green screen and if you guys can see it, it there is an overhead light I have a green screen right behind me and I do have a background we're going to bet embed ourselves in the background see how well it works so if you're in a zoom call or you're doing a teams call and you want to make sure you blend in with the background you can do something like this so let's go ahead and do the green screen so if you guys can see the green screen i'm gonna put some more light so i could fix it up a little bit better so when you direct light to yourself you can actually cut out some better and if you can see you can't see too much of a green screen so let's fix it up a little bit more uh, because you are going to need some good lighting for this stuff so let's go ahead and keep cleaning it up and see if we can clean it up some more on the chromo part try to fix it as much as we can we we'll try to see without disappearing and maybe i have to put more light in front of me and maybe that's the only way to get get rid of it but this is pretty much what i'm gonna be working with and i don't have too much to work with some of the colors are still dissipating default i have to change it back to default most of the times to work it that's pretty much the green screen the best i can do and you can still see some of the border if you guys can see right here in this border part compared to the picture in the back you still have to see that fuzzing so this camera is not very good for any kind of green screen if you're going to be streaming and you're going to need a lot of light and right now i have a very powerful light just to let you know if i move it away this is pretty much what you're going to see at home you kind of disappear from here so you're gonna have to go back and change some of the features so for green screen this camera is not very good even though it's an hd 1080 hd it still doesn't qualify as a good camera even if you change the brightness on it um not very good for green screen so that's another thing that you want to check it out so that's another test that we're doing and i hope you guys enjoy it so let's continue on so overall the green screen is a fail for me i mean you do need a lot of lighting and for Minimum light for some of the streamers, they use other a higher end camera. And I will suggest the Brio. Um, uh, the Logitech Brio is a really good brand and even it doesn't need a lot of qualified light so it can work very well. But this camera I need to, requires a lot of lighting. Now, this is a good camera for your Zoom calls, your team calls, everything else. But if you're gonna be streaming, it's not a very good camera for that. Um, the upgrade is a little difficult to upgrade the firmware. Even if you download the application, you might have to run into a couple issues. I mean, if there's a firmware upgrade, I don't know. The best thing out of it is pretty much the shutter. So let me show you guys the shutter. Pretty much blanks out the whole picture and everything and then it zooms in. And this one automatically kind of adjusts to my eyes. So if I move left or right, you can see it it kind of blurs out a little bit if i cover my eyes right now it, it's gonna get a little blurry so um it takes a while for it to actually you know like recognize my eyes and automatically zoom in but i like that it has a green color when it tells you it's on and it's red if it's audio's off too also for muting um the audio is pretty high quality on this one so i'm looking at the bars is picking up very good uh, like i said good for everyday use but not good for streaming if you're going to use it for everyday use it's a great camera for students out there that are looking for camera really good and it has a privacy shutter so i like this so if you guys like what you guys see make sure you guys subscribe i'm your host prophet 74 and we're out